Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Clueless 8, and this is December 23rd, 2015 pre-market AIM report. Couple of relevant and quick observations. As forecasted off the market lows and repeated multiple times, suggested I should say, the market are undergoing a technical retracement reflex bounce exactly similar exactly similar to every single time that it's had corrective pullbacks keep in mind that the market's trading in a trading range and if you and and and, and if you follow my charts and my precision tactical uh, um algo hft chart specifically and all others that i produce for the benefit of my members and free trial subscribers, then you would have done extremely well. I do not need to remind anyone that the S&P calls that I went ahead and suggested accumulating have appreciated more than 200% from the lows of eight, $9 and I believe they're going to be opening up at around 28. Members and traders don't necessarily have to go ahead and hold them all the way up, but not to buy them at major technical lows that I have repeatedly shown, in my opinion, is a fatal trading error. Now, this is not the first time things like this have happened. I do fully understand being somebody who's been involved in the market, who is involved in the market every single hour, every single day, every single minute, that the volatility algos and the high frequency trading programs do a intense job of keeping people's mental frame in a state of complete confusion and panic. And despite glaring signs, of technical corrective bottoms or what we call tradable bottoms a majority of traders and investors fail to act on them that is a mental issue it is not a market issue if somebody's trying to follow and listen to all the noise that's out there specifically from the media and like I like to say, the little demons in our heads, then they'll never, ever be successful in this particular business. Losses can be made up very quickly, but one has to act, as I always say, aggressively off these tradable bottoms that you can clearly see what they are. And I've repeated them, repeated them multiple times. You have one here, November 16th. You have one here, the recent one. December 14, you had one here, right there. December 18, just a couple of days ago. This is where we are right now. And over the next couple of minutes, I'll explain where I, you know, and which I've shown many, many times in all my charts and people who focus on them and, and, and try to learn something from them know exactly pretty much where we're going. But I'll show them again today. We had some pretty climactic bottoms here around the 1830 level on the E-minis. E that was around 1850 or so, I believe, or 18 uh, on the for for the for the S and P. I believe that was. Uh, I'm just going to give you an exact number for the S and P. That climactic bottom, the flash crash and such, was at uh, around 1866 or so thereabouts on the on the actual S and P back on um, August 24th. September 29th, every one of these corrective pullbacks were played successfully. So what I'm getting at is, as a human being, I can understand what traders go through, but in order to be successful and maximize the potential and the power of the clueless aid trading charts, you have to act forcefully and that requires mental strength 
that has to be a little bit out of your typical human failings, which is fear and greed, fight or flight. At times of max distress, whether in our lives or in trading, we have to act forcefully and decisively because after all, the way I look at it, we have no choice. We either capitulate, which I'd like to remind people that this type of volatility moves, Um, we had casualties, okay? Bunch of traders suffered casualties. I believe more mentally than, uh, than financially. And they capitulated. And I'm very sorry to see that. My job is to motivate, to be as technically disciplined as possible, and to clear the fog that surrounds us every single day that we're in the marketplace. Saying all that, I wish everyone well, but at the same time, from a strict um, philosophy that I follow, when the going gets tough, you gotta get tougher. And never forget that a few days or maybe a few hours of sacrifice, of pain, of buying the lows, that technical lows and within reason can and the rewards are huge so for all who sacrifice and persevere the rewards are given for the meek and fearful as i like to say it is simply the pain of regret it's not a biblical verse it's just something that i truly believe in saying all that let's hit the technicals so at this point in time this is a chart of the e-minis live action going on behind you we have a dragon bullish formation in the works. I doubt if we're going to hit this 2100 level um, immediately. Could happen. Could happen. I doubt it by December 30th to finish the year. Keep in mind we're down approximately 2% or so on the S&P 500. So can the market gain 2% from here? Sure. It can happen. There's a lot of money manage. There's a significant amount of money managers who are right now chasing performance in other words they're trying to catch up with the indices they are down six seven eight nine ten percent on their portfolios and they want to save their jobs so they're performance chasing so the same old stocks that have outperformed throughout the year are the same old stocks they're going to run into of course there's uh, also uh, 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 some bargain hunting going on and some of the most beaten down uh, uh, areas of the market such as energy are now some of the best performing um, areas in the market over the last couple of days. Saying all that, from the e-mini standpoint, we are looking to engage the 50-day and the confluence of the 50 and, and this orange line, the 34-day moving average, and that's around 2060. I'll show that on the S&P side um, on my other charts in a few uh, in, in a few minutes. So it's really as simple as that. You can see how defined these moves are. However, these are not the uh, Unless you are focused on what I do, what we do here at the Clueless Aid Trading Service, you would know how to read these things. This is a dragon bullish, and then we have a minor dragon bullish here that could fail at this 2060 mark on the on the um, and that this is pretty severe resistance here. Okay, it also coincides with the downtrend line from the highs of um, of early uh, December. So if we break out here, then we should move rather quickly towards the 2100 level. If we fail here, then, we're gonna, we, then we have um, all these different support levels, 2020, 2000 again, and it could keep on going there. And if the market is truly on a downtrend, this is how the downtrend is going to play out. Okay? So we're, what we're doing is playing tactical moves between the market at this point. Okay, let's take a look at the internals. I've shown this repeatedly. You have to go revisit my video cast, so I'm not going to repeat them again. Um, we are looking at uh, on the this is the daily chart, so it's more powerful from a swing standpoint. You can see here we have uh, uh, resistance here at uh, the 72 level uh, on the RSI on stochast fast stochastics or we could get severely overbought at around 97, in which case 
uh, we should try to hit that 2100. As I said before, when the McClellan oscillator was down here at 306, it's screaming by, and it was a screaming by. When we got here, if you notice, the McClellan oscillator was 108. I showed this positive divergence repeatedly, that this was a positive divergence, that we hit the same similar lows, but but there was a higher low on the McClellan oscillator. That is exactly what the positive divergence is playing out right now. Okay? So, like I said, learn, study, learn, and profit. It's not rocket science, trust me. Mental. It's mental. You've got to be strong. And you've got to have the tools that I'm providing in your arsenal. Use your own charts. Do the stuff. So, again, we have three marching soldiers here in the form of these candles. And uh, this is the resistance. So let's take a look at the S&P. And let me take these lines out. So it's a more clear picture. Right? So this was the trading band that we normally trade in, which is 2040 and 2134. That's what we're trading at till we fell apart, right? So at this point, look where we are. Right there. 2041 called it the other day that we're going to go to 2040 so we're right now around 2042 and it looks like we want to go and test this 2065 level now keep in mind this is a downward sloping 34 even though the 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 the, the rate of ascent on the 50 day is still kind of moving up i'm starting to see a turn that shows weakening on the broader market so 2060 would be a max move if we break out then we're going to hit this level here these peaks at 2104 and of course if we break that out we're going to hit 2134 so we'll see we don't know right this is the daily so it's for really from a swing standpoint the mclaren loss later i mean sorry the stochastics are moving up and i believe they're going to hit about 75 or 81 before we pull back if we get overbought that means we're we're going to get up towards the 2106 level pattern symmetry again This is the pattern that I'm following from here. This one is in play right now. And let's see whether or not we can take out the 2060 level. We'll see. Whichever the case, just keep in mind, one step at a time. Just this move alone, and please review the options charts that I put out there, was $8 to $8.50. That one trade alone would have taken away a lot of your angst and your fear of the market. After all, being a confidence game that we are in, you got to be, you know, when the trades go right, your confidence increases. So the probability of you being profitable on your next trade goes higher. It's just the way it works. Just the way it works. Kids know that better than we do as adults. So that's it. Now, um, the other chart that I want to quickly show is uh, I don't have time for this here and I've shown this repeatedly so it's nothing new um, where are we that's not the one I have only a minute left here on this video cast I'm gonna keep this short and to the point is this one that I keep on showing. And again, you can see how accurate these charts are. Okay, look at this. I called this here. I had put the arrow here. And that's exactly where we are. Right now, we're engaging the 34-day moving average. Max move would be 204.55. At that point, there would be sellers. If we overshoot, then we can go up to 206.47. If you look at the stochastics, this is a two-hour chart. You can see here that uh, that we're not overbought yet. You can see that. You can see also the um, the vortex indicator. The red line's coming down. The green line's going higher. That's a positive sign. So again, you gotta study the charts and do what you need to do. This is the market structure low. That's all I gotta say. Sign up for the advanced group sessions. Learn and do what you need to do. Do not be the casualty, another number of a trader who drops out. Thank you for listening.